All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to graph using the slope and y-intercept. And when graphing, um, graphing using the slope and y-intercept, you have to make sure you have it in y equals mx plus b form, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. So over here, obviously, we do not have it in that format. So the first thing I have to do is find out what's happening to my y and undo those operations. So I circled my y, and I say, what's happening to it? Well, it's being multiplied by 1 half, and it's also being added by a negative 4x. So to undo my operations, I just have to undo the property. So to undo addition of a negative 4x, I'm going to add a 4x. Add a positive 4x on both sides. That is then my addition property of equality. Those are going to become a 0, which I do not have to write. So I have 1 half y equals 4x minus 1. Now I have my, um, my variable now is being multiplied by 1 half. So to undo that, remember how we undo fractions is we can multiply by the reciprocal. So to multiply by 2 over 1, which we know is the same thing as 2. And you're going to multiply by 2 over 1 on both sides. So therefore, I get y. That's going to cancel out the 1. 1 times y is y. y equals a 2 times 4x minus 1. So what I did was you got to make sure when you multiply that 2 over 1 on since these are both two different terms, you have to multiply the 2 times both of them. So that's why I rewrote it with parentheses. So therefore, y equals 2 times 4 is 8x minus 2. Now, to put this in a slope-intercept form, I know my slope is going to equal 8, or we can write it as 8 over 1, and my y-intercept is going to equal a negative 2. So if I wanted to quickly graph this, running out of ink. Now to quickly graph this, I go to my y-intercept, which is a negative 2. And my, y, and my slope is an 8 over 1, so I'm going to go up 8. So from my y-intercept, I go up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I go over 1. Remember that when your slope, when you change a y is positive, that tells you to go up. And when it's negative, that tells you to go down. And when my change in x is positive, that tells me to go to the right. And when it's negative, that tells me to go to the left. So this is how you graph using the slope and y intercept.